Okay, we are recording just for, just for posterity. Um, and yeah, so it's almost New Year's, but it is still Christmas, right? We have another Sunday to go in Christmas. It's Christmas through January 6th. So we, this is the St. Boniface Christmas pageant. So what we're going to do this evening is we're going to tell the story of the, we're going to tell the Christmas story and we're going to tell it together. And I'm going to assign each one of you a part in the Christmas story, just like we do, just like we do when we, when we tell it in church, right? But what I am going to ask you to do after I assign you your part is take just a couple minutes, maybe five or so, and put your, put yourself together a costume from whatever you have laying around oh, in your no. house. And I know <laughs> it can be, it can be fun. It can be silly. It can be creative. When we did this with my family, my uncle was Joseph. And he put on a construction worker's hat and grabbed a hammer because Joseph was a carpenter. All right. So put your own spin on it. And uh, let's see. Here we go. So we'll start <laughs> with, uh, let's see. We need a Mary, a Mary and a Joseph. Terry and Lorraine, would you be Mary and Joseph for us tonight? Oh, goodness gracious. You want to be, be Joseph? <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> can we have our ot square? Can you be our angels, please? Can you be the angels? Yay, yes. excellent. <laughs> excellent. Um, let's see. Derek, would you be a wise man? And let's see, who else do we need? Um, Jan Rathmer, would you be uh, Elizabeth, Mary's cousin? Okay. Excellent. Nancy Jacobs, will you be a shepherd? And okay. mom, will you be a shepherd? And Bailey, will you, and Emmerich, if he's around, uh, be our star that the wise men follow? <laughs> yeah good oh and eric too. hey eric <laughs> you guys can all be the star if you want yeah all right you want to be a star too sure yeah. you guys you guys can it's a it's a cluster of stars right it's the convergent yes, <laughs> like, you're the you're the star convergence okay so let's take about five minutes um whatever you whatever is speaking to you for your costume for your part go wait a minute mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a hat with mustache and <laughs> look at our angels oh my gosh <laughs> so sparkly <laughs> that's perfect you guys not sure why a fox is an angel but we're gonna roll with it we are absolutely <laughs> gonna roll with it because wait till you meet our baby jesus <laughs> <laughs> Child. Well, Murray had to come riding in the town on something. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. When we did it, we made my, dog, my dad be the dog. Oh, Edward, you. Oh, hi, Bruce and Mimi. Hi. It's not too late. Do you guys want a part? <laughs> sure, she does. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. You can be the angel Gabriel. Cool. All right. Do I need a Perfect. horn? I found my mittens that have sheep on them. <laughs> That's perfect. There we go. That's perfect. All right. So I think Derek is just hopefully on his way back. So while he's, while our wise man is returning, I'll tell you guys how this is going to work. Okay. So I will read the story because I promise nobody has to learn lines. Right. So I will read the story. And when I talk about your character, you get to act out what your character is doing, okay? So if I talk about the angel Gabriel, Mimi can pretend to be blowing a horn, she's talking to Mary. So as I tell the story, you get to show the actions of the people, okay? And remember, if you've ever seen a silent movie, they are not subtle, right? Go big, go big. Go big or go home, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, so as we and if you if you want to ad lib a line or two, feel free unmute, say a little something. Um, but we'll tell the story. I've adapted this from Mary Metz's excellent Epiphany pageant script, so some of it should sound pretty familiar to us as we go along. 
and it's it's not real long so you'll everybody will get a chance to shine including our star are we ready everybody here we go we're gonna start welcome to the saint boniface 2020 all ages virtual christmas pageant we're gonna begin even though we're gonna have a lot of fun and do a lot of laughing tonight we're gonna settle ourselves for just a minute and begin with a prayer almighty god you have poured upon us the new light of your incarnate word. Grant that this light, enkindled in our hearts, may shine forth in our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. It is recorded that Isaiah prophesied to the people of Judah, saying, the people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them has the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Little did the people know that the desire of every nation would be born over 900 years later to set his people free from our fears and sins. It is recorded in the Gospel of Luke that the angel Gabriel was sent in haste. <laughs> <laughs> was sent in haste from God to a girl in the city of Galilee. That city was called Nazareth and the girl was named Mary. Hi, Mary. <laughs> How's it going, girlfriend? <laughs> Mary was engaged to marry a man named Joseph, who was of the house of David. Gabriel blessed Mary and told her that she was to have a child by the Holy Spirit and to name him Jesus. He would be great and called the son of the Most High God. The one lucky lady. <laughs> oh man, had to go through all that. Not me. <laughs> what you talking about? But Mary gently bowed her head in awe and said, <laughs> "I am the Lord's servant. May it be. May it happen to me as you have said." Right answer. <laughs> <laughs> the angel Gabriel also told Mary that her cousin Elizabeth had conceived a son and was in her sixth month. Mary <laughs> left Nazareth and hurried to visit Elizabeth in the hill country outside of Judah. <laughs> she, entered the, <laughs> she entered the house of Elizabeth and her husband Zechariah and greeted them warmly. <laughs> when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, Elizabeth's unborn baby leapt for joy. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Elizabeth embraced Mary and blessed her and the child. <laughs> this was the first time that John, the son of Zechariah and Elizabeth, announced that the Messiah, the Son of God, was present among the people of God. After Mary had returned to the region of Galilee and the city of Nazareth to her betrothed husband, Joseph, now it came to pass that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be counted and taxed. All were to be counted, every person into his own city. So Joseph, along with his wife, Mary, left Galilee and the city of Nazareth and went into Judah, into the city of David, which is now called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David to be counted and taxed with Mary, who was still expecting the child. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> While they were there, the time came for Mary to give birth to her baby. Every place was full and there was no room for the son of God to be born. <sighs> Mary, and, Mary and Joseph asked over and over again, but each time they were turned away. There's <laughs> Like I would know. I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Until finally, they came to an inn and begged the innkeeper for some kind of shelter. Jeez. I 
They begged, they pleaded, they said, please, please. The innkeeper shook his head sadly and replied that he had no space at all. But then he remembered the stable. He pointed to the back of the inn and he told Mary and Joseph that they could take shelter in his stable. Let's go. <laughs> Hurry. <Yeah. laughs> Joseph thanked the innkeeper and led Mary to the stable, which was filled with animals, oxen and sheep, cattle, goats. Let me hear your best animal noises, everybody. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was more like a cave than a barn, but it was a shelter all the same. And here, Mary gave birth to the Son of God, wrapped in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger. <laughs> 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 and then there were in that same country shepherds <laughs> living in the field <laughs> keeping watch over their flock by night and this night a sheep <laughs> a sheep ah. <laughs> and this night lo the angels of the Lord came upon them and the glory so of the Lord are. shone around them. And the shepherds were terrified. Oh! But the angel oh. said to them, Don't be afraid. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm bringing you good news. Today is born for you in the city of David a Savior. Oh. And you will see a sign. You will find the baby wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly, with the angels, there was a whole host of the heavenly host praising God and Ooh. saying, do you remember? Glory, Glory to God, to God, God in the highest. And, and on earth, earth to be on those who he favors. <laughs> Very good angels. <laughs> When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, flown back into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken you place. We'll go. <laughs> we'll go. <laughs> the Lord has made known to us. So they ran with haste and found Mary and Joseph <laughs> and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child and all who heard it, that's all of you, were amazed at what the shepherds told them. No <laughs> way. Holy smokes. Wow. <laughs> then, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem following a star and, <laughs> and seeing the <laughs> child to be born king of the Jews. The star. I brought but, some gold. I brought some gold. What did you bring? <laughs> I love the stars. What did I you love bring? the candles. Did, did I have to bring it all? Do I have to bring all the gold, frankincense, and myrrh? I brought frankincense. <laughs> what? You okay. <laughs> the wise men bickered their way through Bethlehem. <laughs> the star led them on and on as they debated who had brought what gift for the baby. Until suddenly, <laughs> the star stopped and shone over the place where the child was. When the wise men saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. They saw the child with Mary, his mother. And they knelt down and paid him homage with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Now I brought the gold and you got the frankincense and myrrh, right? <laughs> now we all got it for Jesus. Warned, well done, man. <laughs> and having been warned in a dream not to return to the wicked King Herod, they returned home by another road.
Yay. That dream was Good. like a nightmare. <laughs> As a child, the Messiah, the Christ, the light of the world, grew strong in the spirit and was filled with wisdom. The grace of God was upon him and upon the whole world as the glory, majesty, and redemptive nature of this child, the light of Christ, was and continues to be revealed to the entire world. May that same peace, grace, and light be with you today and always. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Great job, everybody. Merry Christmas. Hey. 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 Hey.